This is my old friend Anna Kramling, and we used to be best buds. I let her into my home. I even shared my Celsius with her. You like it? Nom nom nom, it was really good. <laughs> and we bonded over being losers at the streamer awards. Everything was going so well. And then she posted this video. This everybody is why me and Andrea are not friends anymore. Anna Kramling was hooked up to a lie detector and faced with some tough questions. She had to spill the beans on everything her big career goals, what it's really like having famous chess grandmasters as parents. Her close friend, Alexandra Botez, and the not-so-glamorous side of internet fame. And here's the kicker, she got caught in a lie. I try to never completely lie about what it's about because then I'm just failing people's expectations. Last time on Lie Detector Chess, Anna Rudolph, the famous Hungarian chess player and commentator, was on the hot seat. Now it's Kramling's turn. Anna grilled her with tough questions, all while a lie detector machine watched her every move. But what exactly did Anna lie about? Let's get into it and find out. This is Anna Kramling. She might look like an angel, but in reality, she is the Regina George of chess. Not only does she have a cool mom, but she has a cool dad too. Both of her parents are grandmasters, and that must be why they only taught her chess and no manners because she did not hold back when she trashed her. All right, so for those who might not know, let's talk about Anna Kramling. She's a chess sensation with a twist. Anna's not only a super skilled chess player with the title of Woman Fight Master, OFM, but she's also a big name on Twitch and YouTube. She's got this unique way of mixing strategy with fun, which has drawn a massive audience to her channels. And this isn't just any chess prodigy. We're talking about someone who has represented Sweden in major tournaments, like the Chess Olympiad and the European Team Chess Championships. Now, Anna's chess skills run deep in the family. Her mom, Pia Kramling, is a legend in the chess world, one of the greatest female players of all time. And her dad, he's a grandmaster too. So with these powerhouse parents, Anna's chess journey started young, like three years old young. Growing up in Spain and later moving to Sweden at 11, She's been immersed in chess all her life. She competed in youth tournaments, and as if it couldn't get cooler, she and her mom even played together on Team Sweden, with her dad as their captain. How epic is that family setup? By 15, Anna had earned her WFM title, a major achievement in the chess world. And that same year, she defeated an international master, Renier Castellanos Rodriguez. It was a big deal, proving she wasn't just a chess kid, but a true competitor. Then, in 2020, Anna brought her skills to Twitch, streaming chess online, and quickly winning over fans worldwide. Her parents, the grandmasters themselves, even pop in for guest appearances. Just a year later, she signed with Panda Esports as their very first chess streamer. Another groundbreaking moment. Today, Anna Kramling is 22 and a massive figure in the chess world with millions of followers on social media. She's become a global sensation, drawing in everyone from chess fanatics to total newcomers. With over 450,000 followers on Twitch alone, Anna's made chess not only exciting, but super accessible. Five seconds, okay, we gotta be a little careful. A little, 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 little bit careful, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. With all that talent, dedication, and a family legacy rooted in chess, you'd think Anna's approach to the game would be all business, right? Well, not exactly. She's got her own playful side, too, and even came up with a quirky opening called The Cow. Yep, you heard that right, The Cow. Even Anna admits it's not exactly a winning strategy. She explained that, despite her years in chess, Placing knights on the edges of the board isn't ideal because they're just too easy to attack. She says it's okay for beginners, but definitely not a pro move. At least it's easy to remember though, and that's part of the fun. But Anna's not just about quirky chess moves, she's gotten some pretty deep questions too. Once, someone asked her if she ever regrets becoming a streamer. Anna, who really loves what she does, said she can't imagine doing anything else. But there's a small part of her that sometimes wonders what life might look like on a different path. It's one of those moments where you realize that even for someone as successful as Anna, there's always a what if in the back of their mind. And we can't skip her playful rivalry with Andrea Botez. 
When Anna was asked if she thought she was the better chess player, she didn't hesitate to say yes, and even the lie detector backed her up. I think you are a better chess player than Andrea Botes. Yes. Yes, she does. <laughs> okay, so then she added that although she hasn't played Andrea in a slower, long game, Andrea's quick games are impressive. But Anna's convinced she has the edge when it comes to chess knowledge. But here's the thing about Anna. Yes, she might have grown up in a family of chess grandmasters, but that doesn't mean it's been a walk in the park. One person, but tens or hundreds of people that are that are criticizing me or my work or different things, and I think, yeah, it, it does get to me. And I think that's maybe one of the things that demotivate me. I, I've been... Sometimes, people dismiss her skills because they compare her to her legendary parents. Anna's aware of it. She knows some people think, well, her parents are grandmasters, but she's not on their level. But she's carved her own path, focusing on streaming and connecting with fans in a way few chess players ever do. And while she's proud of the unique career she's built, she admits there are moments when she wonders if maybe, just maybe, she should have pushed harder for a higher rating. But hey, she's still young, and the door to improve is wide open. Things can get a bit heavy too. Once, Anna was asked if she'd ever cried over mean comments online, and she said yes. She tries to keep in mind that people who say hurtful things are likely unhappy themselves. But when you see the same negative comments popping up again and again, it's tough not to feel a sting. Behind all the laughs and chess streams, she's dealing with the reality of having millions of people watching, and sometimes judging her every move. And speaking of the spotlight, having all those followers leads to some pretty strange moments. Believe it or not, people have actually proposed marriage to her. Yes, really. I mean, obviously, like, it's a part of becoming famous or having a larger audience, but like... She laughs it off, saying, I'm just playing chess. They don't even know me. It's strange and maybe a bit funny, though she guesses most of them are just joking around. Anna's friend, Andrea Botez, couldn't help but jump in on the topic of those unusual proposals Anna receives. Andrea laughed and warned everyone to please not be creepy. Then came a moment no one expected. Up until now, Anna had aced every question in a lie detector test without a hitch. But when Anna Rudolph hit her with a serious question, Do you ever hate playing chess? Anna answered quickly, saying she didn't. But the lie detector wasn't buying it. I just hate playing chess. No? That's a lie. Anna was genuinely shocked. She thought she sounded totally confident. But looking back, she realized she must have hesitated, which is the last thing you want to do in front of a lie detector. But while that moment raised eyebrows, it also got everyone thinking about the pressures that come with being a competitive chess player. Anna's love for chess runs deep. But like anyone with a passion, there are moments she'd rather skip. Playing on an off day, she admits it's the worst. She gets so frustrated with herself that it almost feels like the game's working against her. And then there's the pressure. Those high stakes games where it feels like everything's riding on each move. In those moments, chess can feel like a whole lot more than just a game. But even with the challenges, she's all in for the thrill of competition. It's what keeps her hooked. And as for the lie detector, turns out Anna's in good company. She joins the ranks of other chess stars like Levi Rosman, Magnus Carlsen, David Howell, and even Hikaru Nakamura, all of whom have faced off against the lie detector before her. It's almost become a rite of passage in the chess world, a little test of truth-telling that adds a new twist to the game. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit the subscribe button for more content like this.